Okay, everybody, it's Friday Fun Day. It's Hi. take two. She's starting to laugh, so that means it's over here. Uh, this is was supposed to be the graduate edition, uh, but the graduate is not functioning yet. It's early. Yeah, it's 1230. Um, so we brought Mrs. P back. It's the outdoor edition. So this is what this is what happens. This is what's in the backyard of a Norwalk house. We don't own this. Let's be no, real clear. No, we, no. We, we own to that. That, that little, little bitty tree? That little bitty tree. That's ours. Everything else is somebody. Farm field. Yeah, farm field, somebody else's. So it was a nice day. You got to get outside. I, by the way, wouldn't wear sunglasses because I don't think I'm a movie star. It's just that my glasses automatically tint. You, however, made a conscious decision because you think you're something. I am something. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a few reminders, and then we'll do dumb laws, dumb crooks, and draw some tickets. Honors, your third body paragraph is due by the start of class next Friday. First, fourth, sixth, and seventh. You will notice in Google Classroom, but not in Progress Book, that you have a makeup document of the week due by the start of your class next Friday. So if you have a zero or don't like any grade you got on a document of the week fourth quarter, you may do the one that you'll find in, in the Google Classroom, and I will replace it with your lowest or missing grade. And then finally, you have to make sure you post your presentations by Tuesday at four o'clock, okay? Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day at four o'clock. Okay, dumb laws, dumb crooks. I guess I will just reverse this because I've already read this because this is our second take, but that's okay. I didn't mess it up. Ish, okay. So <laughs> we've got a couple different states. Uh, Vermont, whistling underwater is illegal in Vermont. It'd be very difficult to do too. I whistle in, which in the first take, she realized she never knew. That's weird. It is a little different. You blow out. I can't whistle anyway, but. Well, what are you complaining about? It's just weird. Uh, you must get a bath at least every Saturday night. In Good call. Yeah. In Virginia, it's illegal to <clears throat> do certain things unless you're married. Driving barefoot is illegal. I'd be in trouble. It's illegal to trick or treat on Halloween. <laughs> when else are you going to trick or treat? Thanksgiving? I think they don't want you to do it on the actual night because, like, kids do dumb things to other little kids. You know, like, steal their mean, candy and stuff. Be you mean know? to little ones. Yeah. <laughs> be mean to older ones. Don't do that either. Uh, it is illegal to keep a skunk as a pet. <laughs> Who'd want to? Uh, I think some people take out. Some, this sounds like something you my mom would do. Them? You can de stink them. Yeah. Ew. Lollipops are illegal in Washington. Do you know what? It's a choking hazard. That's right. Little kids fall down. It, so then, that's like, a good law. Goes, yeah. <laughs> that's a serious thing. Please do not mock. It, no, I was Stop. like... Stop! Okay. <laughs> it's illegal to paint polka dots on the U.S. flag. There went we'll that. We'll get that later. Yeah, we'll get that later. It is illegal to pretend your parents are rich. But why would you? I have no idea. I have, I honestly have no idea. I, I couldn't have even have pretended. I don't, unless you just never went by. Uh, it is illegal to use x-rays to size people for shoes. Do you know that one? It has something to do with radiation, right? If you've ever had, in the 20s and 30s, they used to use x-ray machines as like a fancy gadget to say, oh, you're a size eight or you're a size nine or 10 or whatever your shoe size is. Well, you're not supposed to be exposed to too many x-rays. That's why if you've ever broken something, you know that they put that, that lead blanket or whatever over parts that aren't being x-rayed. Yep, to protect you. And then they, smartly, go in some other room to push the button because they do who knows how many of those things a day. They'd be in trouble. Uh, in Seattle, Washington, it's illegal to carry, this got you last time when I read it, a six uh, concealed weapon over six feet long. <laughs> it's six feet long. How could you conceal it? I guess if you're seven foot tall, maybe Eight. you could conceal it. Still. I, I don't know. And then finally, in Wilbur, Washington, it's illegal to ride an ugly horse. We've been horseback riding plenty of times. I've uh, ridden some ugly horses. We have, but that, but we shouldn't be judging. No, horses are allowed to be ugly. <laughs> they still, you can still ride them. That is correct. Okay, your dumb crook. Okay, a suspect in a 14-year-old double murder finally came forward and surrendered himself to police. Good, that's good. Did the man's conscience <coughs> finally get the better of him? No. Was he ready to make amends and seek forgiveness for his crimes? Probably not. No. He wanted to collect the 3,000 reward that had been offered for his capture. The police rewarded him all right with an all expenses paid trip to jail. I, 
three thousand dollars is a lot of money, but it it's not. It's really not. Like I've heard of way bigger rewards than three thousand dollars. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you like a million dollar reward or some temptation, but it but, doesn't do you any good if you. Well, no, because you're, you're the one they want to capture. Yeah, probably not. Okay, very good. Let's draw our last document of the week passes. Remember. If you've already earned a document of the week pass or you're getting the very last one drawn, make sure you tell me so you can use it on next week's assignment because otherwise it just goes away. Mm -hmm. uh, Tristan and Cadence, you still have document of the week passes that you can apply as long as you tell me, at least as of today, which is Thursday, which is confusing because this should post Friday. Okay, so sure. one more person will have one after today. That is correct. So could okay. you draw for first period, please, which is... They've been stepping up, so. That's good. Good, good. All right, so this week. If that blows away, I'm going to cry. Although it's over, so, so I guess if the names blow away, it's just, we'll, we'll pick up the littering. Mackay. Yes, Mackay L. Very good. You've earned a pass, sir. 10 out of 10. All right, I'll get that. Save that. I'll write that. Okay. Okay, third period. Third. Yeah, always plenty of names to draw from in third. Let's see who gets it this time. Nevaeh. You've drawn Nevaeh's name before. That was Same for, one? That was for a candy bar. Oh, and he ate it. That was rude. It might have been you. No one will eat your 10 out of 10 pass. You earn that. It's true. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, you might have eaten more of those under quarantine than I have. I don't think so. I know. Because I only eat them when you pull them out of wherever you have them hidden. <laughs> I did hide them. He did hide them. She's... She's got I, it. I got a bit of a sweet tooth. <laughs> yes. Okay. Fourth period. Still a little thin, but that's okay. Oh, fourth period. That, that, there's some great kids in fourth period. But. <laughs> Just draw, please. Oh, all right. Don't be disappointed in the ones who actually have their names in there. I'm disappointed in the ones who don't. Well, they're not watching this anyway. <laughs> that is true. All right. I'm going to put you this name. I can't say it right. So I only say the first letter. Okay. Is it. Dia? Dia? I just call her D. D. I like it. D. Other, other people call her D too. So. It's pretty. Yeah. Uh, the spelling is very pretty. I just, I wish I knew how to say it correctly. I think Dia. But Dia? I, I don't know. Yes. I just called her D forever, That which is actually my mom's name. Mm -hmm. So easy enough. D, you got to pass 10 out of 10. And she's been a lot more involved lately. That's good. That's great. Not my mom. She's about the same, but <laughs> Dia. <laughs> okay. Sixth, sixth period. All right, sixth. <laughs> yeah, I know. A little thin in there, too. Taylor S. Oh, okay. Very good. Taylor, you've got a 10 out of 10 pass. She's supposed to be my favorite student. Oh, is she? <laughs> They're all my favorite. That's what we're going to go with. Okay. okay. And then finally, Seven. seventh period. Also a little thin, but that's okay. All right, here we go. The last one is... <laughs> it's another name that I actually don't say well anyway. Hang on. I'll get it. You can get it, and I won't know because I'm not 100% sure I've ever done it right, which is why I always just address her by her last name, which I'm not going to say because that violates FERPA or something. Tariana. Miss L. I usually say her whole last name, but Miss L. So, very good. She has been very active lately, and she got a 10 out of 10 pass. So... There you go, everybody. We will do one more of these Friday fun days next week just to read the last of the dumb laws. And we're going to do dumb 911 calls. Those will be fun. There's some pretty, listen, there's some legit reasons to call 911, but there's some pretty dumb, dumb reasons to call too. Do you, do you hear that sound in the background, by the way? It might be too faint <clears throat> to pick up on the phone, on the oh. camera. That's a nursery that, you know, they have trees and like stuff. And that means yeah. somebody's there to pick up a tree. That's... That's what Norwalks like to live in, everybody. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Have a great, safe Memorial Day weekend. Get outside. Stay safe. Do the quarantine stuff. But get outside. See, I guess this is sunshine for Ohio. It's close enough. Yes, we'll take All it. Right? It's not raining. Be safe and get that work done. See you guys.